Happy Monday afternoon, everyone. I hope you had a great weekend and I pray your week has started off well and I declare and decree that it will end in a triumphant one. I want to jump on real quick to talk to you guys about a project that I've been working on with our youngest son and what's going on is their grade is doing their end of the year project. I can't believe it's end of the year, but they're doing their end of the year project, which is an animal exhibit, which is pretty cool, guys. Um, and he, my son, our son, of course, picked the lion, of course. Uh, so when he came home with the project and we've been working on it, it, uh, the scripture popped in my head, First Peter 5 and 8, which it says, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. So let's look at the word devour. You know, devour is like uh, uh, you're tearing something up. You know, just imagine you're eating food. You're like, I'm devouring it. You're tearing it up. But I want to capitalize off of, of one of the definitions also of devour, which is destroy completely. So keep that in the back of your psyche. So doing the research on the lion, we were, we're at this part of the project where we're looking at uh, how it picks its prey, how it gets its prey, and what type of prey it goes after. And one of the preys that it goes after is the cheetah. So our son, our youngest son pulls the question, an interesting question. He's like, well, mommy, how can he get a cheetah? Because the cheetahs are real fast. I'm like, you know what, baby? I don't know. Let's look it up. Because you know what? Cheetah is fast, if not the fastest animal out there. So looking into the lion, we learned some interesting facts that a lion can run fast, but for a short amount of time. Like it really has a short window of opportunity to run at its full capacity to catch something fast, such as a cheetah. And we also learned that it purposefully goes after the cheetah because the cheetah is its number one competitor. That the, it's afraid that the cheetah can take him out and take its cubs out. So to know that God compare the adversary to the to lion, I like to equate us to the cheetah. It knows that we have been, um, before we were formed in our mothers, when we were equipped with everything that we need to destroy its kingdom, to destroy the enemy, to destroy its imps, to destroy its witches and its warlocks. So it purposefully goes after us. It purposefully takes its time and stalks us because the lion is patient. It takes its, he takes, it takes its time. It learns the routine to watch and when the, the cheetah is like veered off or um, wh whatever prey is going after and like something as fast as a cheetah, it watches it to, f when, to, to see when it's being caught slipping, I would like to say. And it goes, it has a small ones of opportunity to go after it and devour it. And that's what the enemy does. It waits for us to be veered off, to not be paying attention, to not walking in God's will and way, not walking in our purpose, not walking in our full dominion to come and devour us because it knows it has to get us before we get him. And I just want to get on and tell you guys to keep going Go, walk in your purpose that god has ordained you to do do your business write your book do whatever you spread the gospel do what you gotta do don't be caught slipping be mobile so that the enemy can't catch you because if he catch you slipping has a small window of opportunity to devour you don't get caught slipping man this blessed me i pray it blessed you